Drones were once a futuristic idea, but now their popularity we know is exploding. But what if a drone could help save a life? A Dutch engineer has designed a drone that could minimize EMS response time. Check it out. What is your emergency? It's my dad. Please help. He's not breathing anymore. We've got your location. The ambulance drone is on its way. Can you go to the nearest exit? The ambulance drone is almost there. Okay. I'm outside. I'll be talking through the drone now, so you can put down the phone. Now please pick up the drone and bring it to your father. Okay, pull the green lid. Now place the pads on your father's chest. Joanna, please stay clear of your father. We'll take it from here. It should be noted that 350,000 people a year suffer from a cardiac arrest, and in my opinion, anything that can help increase survival right now, it's at about 12%, yeah. is worth researching. What are your thoughts on drones? I like it. You've got about four to six minutes when someone stops breathing or their heart stops beating before permanent brain damage or death set in. So if you can get a drone there within a few minutes, I mean, I don't know where they're going to be perched just waiting to launch right, to come in. Exactly. And, I, and I think it obviously will take some getting used to for people to follow like the instructions of a remote physician telling them they may be way too frazzled to do it effectively. But you know, for all of the people having heart attacks, trauma, drowning, acute Strokes. respiratory, stroke, hereditary angioedema, like yeah. you know, seriously. I mean, you're right. You can't expect everybody to, to have the knowledge to be able to implement what they have to do. But I mean, it's a start. And in the meantime, you have to be doing CPR. My, my humble opinion is this. They're saying that this could launch in five years. And I give a lot of credit to this Dutch engineer. But I think as the price of defibrillators continues to go down, they're going to become more ubiquitous. I think we're going to get to a point where a lot of households home. have them. Yeah. Right. If you're at risk, you should have one at home. Yeah, and you know, it's one of those things where you're, you're in a store, and as, as people get more comfortable with this, because the truth is waiting 10 minutes for an ambulance to arrive yep. just isn't going to cut it. Have you seen, have you been somewhere where you all of a sudden just see a drone? Oh, sure. It's freaky. How, it, how I about, mean, you, you think you're, you, you see something like, wow, is that a bird? Is that a... What is that? And then you see this thing hovering. I worry, noise. I'll tell you it's this, like I worry a little watching. bit about them becoming so ubiquitous that they're, you know, you have one drone is delivering a, a new package of tennis balls, and then the other drone trying to deliver the defibrillator and they collide midair. And you know, you, you see this future where they're just everywhere. And, and we're gonna have to, at some point in time, figure out how we're gonna limit airspace because I don't want a world where it's, is that a mosquito? No, it's another drone. Uh, I, I mean, I think there's already been reported airline problems issues because of they drones. they fly too high. It's very unregulated, but it has to become regulated because they're talking about a lot of uses for drones. Well, this, this is certainly a, a, an ingenious potential use for one. We'll be right back.